Thunder. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Jago is probably the top five. It's just really solid overall. Saberwolf has solid tools, resources, but he does kind of uh, bad damage, so I think he is uh, one of the worst characters. He's just viable, but he's one of the worst, I believe. Glacius is mid tier, mid high. I think he's a zoner uh, with pretty strong, like he's, he has strong zoning and pretty strong pressure as well. And he has like teleport, uh, no, uh, um, do I let people touch my hair? Yeah. Thunder. Uh, he was my favorite character in the Super Nintendo. KI, but they changed his uh, looks in this game. Now he looks like a nut. He, he used to look like a badass fucking... Yeah, kid, Glacius was cooler in the old SNES, I agree. Both Thunder and Glacius. Let, let's have a look, guys. Yo, what's up, puppy? You have a request? You didn't stream for that long, man. What did I do? I killed my PC. Okay, next song. Yeah, cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thunder's really good. But look at this. Um, yeah, okay, Puppy, I feel you, man. I feel you. Three four five is very draining. Man. Look at Thunder here. He's so cool. I want this Thunder look. Thunder. <laughs> Was he only called Combo? He looks so cool. And the stance? Right! He had a fucking fireball! What did they take away his fireball? That fucking punch bag is in the way! <laughs> Fatality. I wanted to see a fatality guy. Guy? Look at him. He looks so cool. I want him to look like that. Fuck. I want to see a fatality. Yeah, Cinder was just like forward, forward, punch, and stuff like that. Oh my god, the pixels.
Where's Thunder? Oh, there he is. Okay. Ultra? No, where's the Ultra? There's no Ultra. Whatever. Whatever. You mean Balorax? Fever? There are... Yes, there are ultimates, but they are not as gory. Because uh, this game is like PEG 12 or whatever, so they can't make it gory. Okay, so that's Thunder. If he would have that look, as in the old SNES, I would main him. But now he looks like a he looks like a nut now, and the way he stands is like like th Thunder stands like this in this game. And in the old one, he was like... He was holding his axes like this. Looking fucking awesome. Like... Holding his axes like this. It was super cool. But now he's like... Hmm. Well, that's enough talk about Thunder. Then we have Shadow Jago. I do not have this character. But it's uh <laughs> Well let's do that later. We have uh, this is a new character. Sadira. What's up King Daddy? What's this resident sleeper about? I'm just introducing the game to new players. Sadira. She's uh, an assassin from Iraq or something. She's the leader of the Spider Clan, or something. She's truly evil. Uh, Orchid. She's like the female hero. Pretty straightforward playstyle. Kind of like Jago. Spinal. The... The bandit from uh, Babylon, I think. He, he lost some mask. Or something, and now he's on the seas looking for this mask. <gasps> Ugh. How good or bad they are. Uh, okay. So yeah, Thunder is probably top ten. Sadira is probably bottom five now because of the damage issues, I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, Orchid, I think she's in the middle. Final is probably mid high. Olgor is top one. This is the best character. Probably the best character. Because he can do the whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, but he is kind of like the original ish boss character, so he does suit him, but he his he has some pretty cheap stuff like uh, teleports that recover really fast. And uh, yeah. Uh, TJ combo. <laughs> is um, probably mid, probably middle. Maya, I believe she's top 10. I think she's a really good character. I am a good guy, yeah. And get this, this character has an unblockable homing projectile that leads into combo. Yes. Conra, probably bottom five now. Uh, he was he used to be like top three, and then he was nerfed pretty hard, and now 
he has to work pretty hard, so he doesn't have much damage, and that's probably why he's not one of the best, so I think he's like bottom 5 at least. Uh, Riptor. Yeah, you have to build it up. You have to build her projectile up. You don't have access to it all the time, you have to build it up, but it's still stupid. Like, I can show you, I can show you. Um, I believe Riptor is like mid-low, I think. Omen is, I believe, top 5. He has this really sick fireball pressure, and he has this reversal that uh, teleports him a little bit up, or like in which direction you, whatever the fuck direction you want, and it's invincible. So he has a really sick reversal, and he also has three uh, EX meters instead of two, so he has access to special moves more often. So, pretty good. Um, Agonos is probably low, like bottom 10, I think. Um, what should I say about him? He can do some pretty sick work, but uh, he's pretty sluggish, and uh, he doesn't have. Uh, he can be bullied by jumps. I think he doesn't have like an a, an anti-air that always works. He has to. His only anti-air is a uh, light punch. It looks like this. That is normal anti-air, and. It doesn't cover this area, so that's a problem. He does have another anti-air, but that requires meter. So he can be a bit bullied. Well, okay. I think he's, uh, I think he's low. Uh, Isako. Isako. This character is really popular for some reason. She's a mix-up character. She has kind of the same movement as Nash. She has better walk speed. Uh, what's up, Highwind? Nope. I am not gonna try injustice. No. Uh, she has a uh, she has like a really good forward dash, bad movement, ba bad walk speed. Uh, her back dash is okay, and then she has a teleport that goes to the other side, but that is uh, uh, punishable. So it's not th something you can abuse. It's just something you can, you can use. And she, she has uh, command grabs. She has parries. Her parry is like her main tool. She can cancel uh, active frames of moves into a parry, and if you hit her when she parries, she just she just gets uh, gets into a combo right away. So she's super scary. Like if you do an ambiguous jump on her, she can just parry it and go into a combo. Uh, so yeah, uh, Cinder. Cinder is. Um, I believe he is like bottom 15 <laughs> or something. Uh, he's uh, an advanced character, pretty hard to play. He has a lot of air combos. He's a he's a juggle heavy character. He has bad walk speed. He has a bad forward dash, but he has a godlike back dash, and he has bombs. Uh, like he can throw three bombs uh, maximum. So. He just stands full screen and throws bombs at you, and then he can detonate his bombs whenever he wants and just keep you at bay with those. But he's uh, quite tough to uh, control. Arya. Arya. Probably top three. Top three character. I think this character is really good. She has three different bodies. So she has three different states that she's in. So. Uh, in the default body, she is able to hover mid-air. In the second body, she has a blade, she has better pokes and another special move that lets her pressure better. In her third body, she has uh, zoning. Uh, she has a fireball. Uh, she's very strong. She's uh, tough to play, but very strong. Uh, Kim Wu. Pretty straightforward character. Uh, deals 
good damage. I believe she is mid tier. Mid tier, I think. She does mostly like overhead mix ups and also uh, a, she uses a, a command grab ish thing. It's not really a command grab because you can tech it, but she uses it in the middle of combos to reset you and stuff. Yeah, Tusk is a powerful character. Uh, he has a big ass sword. He has mediums and heavy buttons that cause a lot of damage. They are slow, but cause a lot of damage, and they stagger. And when he gets staggered, you get into this stun stunned animation thing, and he's able to do leaks and combos and stuff on you. And also pretty straightforward. Uh, but he's hard to get used to because of his medium and heavy buttons. Or medium and heavy punches. Uh, he has a DP. Most characters have DPs in this game. Uh, guard point. Oh, you mean deflect? Yeah, he has something, something called deflect. Uh, that is, when he activates his fierce or his medium punch or his medium or heavy uppercut or his medium or heavy uh, a special move called sp Skull Splitter, uh, this, uh, he flashes for about three frames and that's called a deflect. And if you hit him when he's in deflect, he just gets you, kind of like a parry. So you just get denied. It's a bit hard to explain. Oh yeah, his crouching fears is pretty good. So that's Tusk. Uh, here's Arbiter from Halo. I Arbiter. like this character a lot. Um, I loved using his blades. Um, his medium and heavy buttons, they're like, he uses his blades and have really good range. He can play footsies really nicely with them. And he's a mix-up kind of character. He uses grenades and uh, his gun. Uh, like, he, he has uh, ammo that is, um, I think he gets 12 bullets for his carbine, and for the entire match, that's what you have. So it's not like you can regain them in some way, although his uh, grenades, there are sticky bombs, you can throw grenades and they stick on the opponent, and then they have to, like, respect that they are sticked to them, so... If they are not blocking while the grenade is detonating, they will get staggered and comboed on. So whenever he throws a grenade at you, they stick to you and you have to like uh, stop doing stuff because you can get hit by that. And then he also has a, a command grab that has like mid-screen range. So he can stick you with a, com uh, with a grenade and then do a command grab on you, on you and force you to jump. It's, it's pretty cheap actually. But he has pretty door poor damage and that compensates his cheapness very much. Uh, Rash is... Uh, from Battletoads. Yeah, I'm a Halo nerd, huh? This is, uh... Kind of, a. Um, I'm not sure how to explain Rash. He's, uh, also pretty straightforward-ish. But he is all over the place. He uses his tongue to go back to, to, like... He can use his tongue to just suck himself onto you, or stick his tongue to the ceiling and just fly, like... past you and cross you up. And uh, his instinct is he calls some his he calls a motorcycle or something and rides on that and then he can jump off that onto the other side and cross you up and he's he's a, just a crazy character. I'm really not sure how to explain him further. Uh, Mira, I just played this character. This character is crazy good, crazy good character. Um, Mira. She has all the tools. She 
she has all the tools. She has uh, the same thing as I mentioned for Omen, the teleport special move that you just use as a reversal and an escape move at the same time. I'm sipping on some beer. What are you guys sipping on? Uh, anyway. She can, if you press all punches on Wake Up, she has this teleport move called Mist that you can direct anywhere. And it's invulnerable. So you can use that as an escape move. And on top of that, she has Air Dash. And she can Air Dash from that teleport. So she can Wake Up Teleport. Woo! And then Air Dash. And like cross you up and crazy things like that. But, it takes health. She sacrifices health to do godlike moves. And she can regain that health by command grabbing you with this move called Embrace. It's a, She's a vampire character. So, she uses this move called Embrace. She bites you and it causes no damage, but it regains her health. And she also has another special move called Reaping. But it's just like a straightforward high low, high low mix up uh, special move that you. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference between both of them, but the one medium hits low, and the heavy hits uh, overhead, and that's pretty strong. But she sacrifices health to use those as well. You don't understand is the damage of the normals like pokes does nothing. Yep, damage is not high in this game. Damage is pretty low in this game, which is a good thing, because this means you have to be consistent. So that's Mira, and uh, Gargus is the character I am on. He's a cancerous, annoying zoner motherfucker, and I, I am having a really hard time playing him properly. It's not really in my nature. General and here is General Rom from Gears of War. Really cool character, in my opinion. Fight on. Fight. And uh, you can do fun things like. I don't know why I went into uh, training mode. Uh, yeah, so that's Gargos. He's a he's a zoner, and he uses minions, fucking minions, like helpers, to uh, aid him in battle, which is why people hate him because they're fucking like it. It forces you to play another kind of game. You have to hit his minion. You have to kill his fucking helpers and stuff. Alright, so General Rom. Now I can't explain as well uh, with General Rom because I have not played this character. I played through an entire roster until Gargos, and no characters after Gargos. And I have not played Shadow Jago, I have not played Kilgore, not Shin Hisako, and not Idol. Anyway, General Rom is a grappler. Um, a grappler with beastly damage. He has. A meterless reversal, which is pretty good. He has uh, his instinct uh, summons this army of krill, as it's called, from Gears of War, that covers the entire screen and makes you unable to see what's going on. And he uses that as a means to make it harder for you to see what strengths he's using when he combos you, so it becomes harder to combo break him. At least that's the way I I interpret the meaning of his instinct. Uh, yeah, so that's what I can tell you about him. Uh, Idol is the last boss character from the first KI. And he has two stances. 
he has uh, then offensive stance and the defensive stance, and they are called uh, mage stance and uh, what's the other stance? What's it called? What's the other called? Warrior stance. Ah. And uh, here's the thing: you cannot manually change stance. Not really, anyway. You, uh, what you do is, uh, whenever you use a special move. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but whenever you use a special move with Idol, uh, there's a little chance that he will switch stance to the other stance. Um, so it's kind of random. And for every special move you do, uh, the stance change rate uh, raises or becomes higher. And so the more special moves you do in a stance, the more likely you are to switch stance soon. And you also have this special move-ish thing where he punches his head like this. And that just, uh, you just use that for uh, as a means to make it more likely to switch to stance, if I'm not mistaken. So, in, in, in Mage Stance, you're a zoner, you can uh, summon meteors, you can cause this electricity lightning move on the ground that you have to block crouching, and the meteor you have to block standing, because that's an overhead, and then he has this really cancerous teleport move, he just teleports to the other side of you and just hits you, or he just teleports beside you on the same side and hits you, and there's no fucking way you can tell, but not like uh, the things he do in mage stance does very little damage so it's not that dangerous i feel to get hit by his stuff when he's in mage stance full gorgoros aria mira arian jago yeah yeah entity i think you got that right i think those are top five yes Right, he can punch himself with back fears to force a stance switch. And, okay, so that's idle. And then we have this... I don't have this character. Kilgore. This character is like, uh, he's a failed Fulgore unit. His name is Filgore, Kilgore. <laughs> Filgore. And he's a big-ass zoner character. Pretty cool. Shin Hisako. Uh, pretty straightforward um, samurai kana. He use, uh, uses a katana. Can't really say much. And then we're waiting for one last character that's supposed to be to the right of Idol. Of Idol. Oh, and Shadow Jago. Um, this character came in season two, I think. And he is uh, kind of a, also a cancerous character. He uses a lot of unsafe moves um, that are hard to block because he switches sides very quickly and it's hard to see and he hits you. But he doesn't do much damage and, all, and most of his special moves are unsafe. So he's like exploitable. So that's it. 